Nigerian gospel music has its roots in the Christian church and the traditional rhythms and melodies of Nigeria. The introduction of Christianity to Nigeria during the colonial era brought new hymns and religious music to the country, and these songs were often accompanied by traditional Nigerian instruments like the talking drum and the shakir. In the 1950s and 1960s, Nigerian musicians began to incorporate Western musical styles into their music, creating a fusion of African rhythms and Western instrumentation. The emergence of the Pentecostal movement in Nigeria in the 1970s and 1980s helped popularize gospel music in the country, with churches using music as a tool for evangelism and worship. During this period, Nigerian gospel music became more diverse, incorporating elements of high life, reggae, hip-hop, and other genres. Artists like Sonny Okosan, Penam Percy Paul, and Chris Okodi emerged as pioneers of Nigerian gospel music, using their music to spread messages of faith and social justice. In the 1990s and 2000s, Nigerian gospel music continued to evolve, with artists like Samyak Poso, Lara George, and Frank Edwards gaining popularity both in Nigeria and abroad. Today, Nigerian gospel music remains a vibrant and important part of the country's music scene. The genre has continued to evolve, incorporating elements of Afrobeats, hip-hop, and other popular genres, while still retaining its roots in traditional Nigerian rhythms and melodies. Nigerian gospel music has also become an important cultural export, with artists like Sinak and Nathaniel Bassi gaining international acclaim and helping to spread the gospel message around the world.